Hi everyone, Dean's Chat on Location in San Antonio. I'm with Dr. Lee Rogers. We co-hosted the Immersion Program, Podiatrist for a Day at UT Health. Uh, I can't thank you enough, Lee. Thank you for organizing and opening up your facility to all of these wonderful students. Well, we, we think it's part of our obligation to make sure that people know about the profession and, and what all the opportunities are. But uh, I think the AA did a great job in, in coordinating uh, everybody. I mean, it's a big effort to get all these people here from around Texas. I mean, it was really focused on, on Texas to begin with and the surrounding area, but uh, roughly 30 college students from uh, many universities that are here and, and uh, learning about podiatry as a career. That was great. I mean, we started talking about doing this about six months ago, and then as we planned it, we weren't sure exactly how what kind of reception we'd get, but when AA put out the email, we literally filled the 30 slots within 36 hours. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. So thank you for sponsoring, and thank you for helping organize, and your faculty has been fabulous. Uh, no, faculty and also the residents really been helping out too, and I really think that they bring uh, an aspect of learning about the profession that's a lot different, you know? So we uh, we got to, so let's review what we did. We we got, we brought people in early in the morning because that's what time we start, you know, so 6.30. Yep, 6.30. Uh, on a Saturday, and we did a scrub workshop. So we taught them how to scrub at the scrub sinks and really just OR protocol, how to get through the operating room and not touch anything blue and, and contaminate oneself, although we, we uh, we, there's a lot of learning yet for people. Uh, then we did a, um, we, we, we kind of did table rounds where we reviewed the different cases that are in house. We got to see all the media. So whether it's their clinical photos or their x-rays, their labs, and kind of put the whole picture together to really paint the clinical story on why it is that we do what we do. You know, here in San Antonio, a lot of limb salvage. And, uh, and then um, we did a, uh, a review of like 15 minute segments from a podiatrist that's in the military, a podiatrist from the VA, a podiatrist in sports medicine, research, private practice, I'm missing it, uh, trauma, yep. you know? So really kind of a good, a good overview of everything that you could do in the profession. And now we're, we're finishing up right now with a suture workshop, which I think you tell me is always like the highlight for people. Yeah, they're enjoying it a lot. And they love counting and gloving. They also love Dr. Hamilton's yeah. workshop today doing some internal fixation. Oh yeah, we had that too, yeah. And then your tour, an explanation of hyperbaric oxygen and where it plays a role in diabetic foot care was excellent. We covered a lot of bases today. Yeah, it's a long day. <laughs> it yeah. has been and a long day. And we're still going, we're going to go to Top Golf, and, and uh, you know, I guess that's maybe that's part of medicine too, learning how to golf. <laughs> yeah, so. there you go, there you go. Well, thanks again, Lee. And, of course. Yeah. Uh, it's been a wonderful day, and I know these students are very appreciative also. Awesome. All yeah, right. glad to be here. Thanks. All right. Yeah. Hi everyone, in San Antonio with Dean's Chat. I'm with uh, one of the star residents of our immersion program today, Alexandria Armstrong. Hello. <laughs> who is no stranger to Dean's Chat. No, it's, a, it's number two. This I is think. your second I, version. My second time. Okay, two times a charm, let's do it. I love Absolutely. it. Yeah. So, you know, we've been here for about 24 hours and you've been a busy bee. We, you met us last night. Yeah, we had a good time. We had a great Brazilian dinner. It was fantastic. We did. It was great. We had good chatting, got to learn, got to learn all the students, all their majors. It was super fun. It's amazing how these students came from all over Texas. All over Texas, but also with very similar majors like biology, chemistry, some environmental studies. It's really, really cool. A very good conglomeration of people. It was very fun. Well, so then when we got here this morning, yeah. you had a bag full of name tags for everybody. I did. I did. So we passed them out, got yep. everyone in groups. And then we brought them down to the operating room, and mm -hmm. you showed everybody how to scrub and gown. Uh, we learned how to, how, to, how to, you know, scrub in. It was pretty, pretty scary, especially for the first time learning how to do all that. Um, a lot, uh, a lot of false starts, especially for me too. I know learning how to scrub, but it's always, it's always something that's very surreal, right? Going to the OR for the first time, scrubbing in, coming in, and then after that, we moved on and we did rounding for a little bit, our table rounds. It was great, yeah, actually, because you had the pictures and the patients, and yeah, it really brought brought podiatric medicine to life for yeah. these. Yeah, actually students. seeing some of these patients, seeing their complications, seeing the photos too, because some of the photos can be a little bit jarring, um, but uh, it definitely puts everything into perspective, especially looking at limb salvage, right, and all the work that we do. So, no doubt. Yeah. Now, if you had a pedometer on, you put a lot of miles on today. In fact, I do have a pedometer on. Really? How many steps okay. did you take today? You know, I was curious about this too, let's see. I was, at, we were going back and forth, we had a good time. You know, 13,528. Well, Alexandria was taking groups from yeah. 
where we were doing all the academics mm -hmm. over to the lab with Dr. Hamilton. Yeah. T tell about that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So, so we got to go over to the lab. Um, at our program, we do a lot of academics, uh, both inside the anatomy lab, but also in the classroom. So uh, Dr. Hamilton was kind enough to bring limbs for us, so we got to practice doing a lot of uh, plating and limbs, and we had the students come through, which was really cool. Some of them, it's their first time ever seeing a cadaver limb. So it's kind of scary, um, but uh, Dr. Hamilton uh, explained everything that was going on. Uh, it was very helpful, at least to me, learning, um, and also for the students, too, for the first time. It was yeah, very fun. They enjoyed that. Oh, yeah, and it was really cool. And then we had a whole series of lectures talking mm -hmm. about podiatric medicine from mm -hmm. every aspect. Mm -hmm. Which lecture did you enjoy? Uh, so I, I really love research. Like research is something I'm very passionate about. And um, Dr. Dove, she is a sweetheart. And I, and I, any time she talks about research, I just get a big smile on my face. So I, I really enjoyed myself. But I will say, all the lectures today encompassed uh, a lot of the different uh, facets of our practice. Right. So we have private practice, we have hospital base, we have you know limb salvage, we have research. And I think it really gave everyone a nice, nice look. It worked out good. And then we kind of saved the best for last. Teaching them how to suture. People it's love that. Fun. Yeah, suturing is really fun. Everyone picked up it, picked up on it really fast. You know, we did uh, we did some simples. We worked on the nice um, pig limbs, which by the way you can buy at H E B, which I did not know until recently. Um, and we yeah we practiced suturing. Everyone picked up really fast. Uh, instruments were great. Um, but yeah, we sutured up. It was pretty fun. So now everybody's changing, and we're off to Top Golf. We're going to Top Golf. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna party. Have a good time. Sounds like a plan. And this nice overcast weather will be fun. Well, Alexander, thank yeah. you so much for make, helping make this happen. You were integral in making the whole Podiatry for a Day event, so no, thank you. No, and I appreciate you and all the hard work you and everyone else has done to help put this together as well. All right. All right. Sweet. Thank <laughs> <Thanks>. you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. It's Dr. Jensen with Dean's Chat on location from San Antonio. We had an immersion program for undergraduate students this week. It's a Saturday, students came to San Antonio from all over the state of Texas, and we're at the University of Texas Health Center, and I'm with one of our participants, Calissa. Hi, Calissa. Hi, I'm Calissa. I'm from Fredericksburg, Texas, just about an hour away from San Antonio, and I actually graduated last May from Texas State, so I'm just in a gap year right now, trying to feel out what I'm interested in. So what was it like to be in the immersion program titled Podiatrist for a Day? It was really awesome. I did not know much about podiatry at all. It's been kind of eye-opening because I've, I'm interested in pediatrics and I was really um, curious about how that fit into podiatry and I learned a lot about that and it totally opened up some pathways for me. So what was your favorite part of the day today? Um, my favorite part was probably just listening to all the practicing podiatrists and their experiences and what they're doing with their lives. It's nice to see real examples because sometimes it's hard to you know, fathom what your life will actually look like <laughs> when you're out there. <laughs> exactly, well we had a really interesting uh, kind of event this morning. We practiced scrubbing and gowning in the operating room. Did yeah, you like that? That was so fun. Yeah, I've never done anything like that before. All my other past like shadowing experiences has just been clinical experience and nothing with the OR and that was really neat to see that side of medicine too. Well, that's great. Well, thank you so much for joining yeah, us here in course. San Antonio. And thanks for participating of on course. the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Hi everyone, back in San Antonio for Dean's Chat on Location. I'm with one of our participants in the Podiatrist for a Day program today. Mohammed. welcome to Dean's Chat. Thank you, it's nice to be here. So what was the day like for you? What'd you learn about podiatry today? Oh man, it was interesting. So I'm a biology major and I'm, I'm on the pre-med track and I honestly did not understand or I did not know how deep the field of podiatry is before coming here today. So my expectation was, you know, all I knew about podiatry was they work on feet, but I did not, just doing this day and meeting all these wonderful people, it was like a breadth of information. It's like a whole specialty in itself. Like there's surgeries and amputations and preventions. And yeah, it, it's just been a wealth of information that I've loved. Uh, what activity did you like the most today? OR, did yeah, you? I, I want to be, I want to do surgery. So I feel like every time I'm in an OR, it's like I'm, I'm in my zone, I'm in my element, so. Have you ever had an opportunity to scrub in before? Yeah, I haven't scrubbed in like officially, but I've been inside an OR, but okay. I just wasn't in the sterile field. Okay, fair so okay. I was just like an observer. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, so what, what are your plans going forward now? You're going to be taking the MCAT and then shadowing some different doctors in different areas of medicine? Yeah, so the plan was you know, to take the MCAT and then shadow um, um, some physicians, but now you guys have added on shadowing podiatry and doing podiatry research to my um, agenda. So yeah, that's the plan I will be taking, graduating and then um, taking the MCAT, just 
getting my feet wet in almost all specialties that I can, okay. and then see see what I fall in love with. Sounds good. Yeah. Well, to anybody listening to this podcast, uh, we will help you find a doctor to shadow in podiatric medicine anywhere in the country. So if I can help you out at all, I'd be happy to. Well, sounds good. I'll definitely be reaching out. All right. Thanks for yeah. joining me. No problem. All right. Bye-bye now. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Dr. Jensen back with Dean's Chat on location in San Antonio. I'm with one of the pre-med students that participated in our immersion program today, podiatrist for a day. How are you doing, Brianna? I'm doing very well, thank you for asking. <laughs> well, thank you for making the trip to San Antonio and being part of our program today. Honestly, thank you guys for hosting it. It's been amazing. What was your favorite part? Honestly, I'd say probably the scrubbing in. It's really cool to see how intricate it is before you you know prepping for surgery and everything and just being able to immerse ourselves in the whole scrubbing it was really really cool students always love gown and gloving <laughs> what did you learn about podiatry that you didn't know before today i honestly had no idea there were so many sub specialties of it i didn't realize you know there were things from pediatrics to trauma to um, rehabilitation, is that what it was called? Yeah, there's. I just didn't know there were so many specialties and it's really interesting to see them all. Well, very good. Um, any parting words before we're done? Um, never count out something, especially if you have like one end goal in mind. Don't count out things that you're not sure existed before, if that makes sense. Yeah, stay curious. Yeah, stay curious, exactly. That's great. Well, thank you so much for joining us in yeah. San Antonio. Where did you drive in from? Um, San Marcos, so I go to Texas State. You do so. it? Okay, fantastic. Well, we're so glad you joined us today. Yay, thank you. thank you. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Back on location with Dean's Chat. I'm here with one of our participants in the immersion program today, a Baylor Bear, Alexa. Welcome to nice. Dean's Chat, Alexa. Thank you. How's your day been? Uh, it's been really cool so far. What'd you learn about podiatry that you didn't know? Um, I guess how integrated podiatry can be with, like, diabetes. Um, I guess I never really thought about the how diabetes can impact uh, your feet. That's, that makes sense. Now, you're a pre-med major at Baylor, right? Yes. Fantastic. What are the different options you're looking at for a career? Um, right now, I'm really interested in like rural medicine okay. and working in communities that are underserved. Um, in terms of like a specialty, if I wanted to do that, I'm not really sure. But. No, that makes sense. What was your favorite part of the day today? Uh, the suturing workshop, I think, but also the cadaver lab. That was fun, huh? Yes. So tell, tell us about the cadaver lab. What did you see? Uh, so we got to like uh, witness, uh, they were teaching a surgery. I think it was so, like if you had a fracture to your tibia maybe. Um, and they were just like walking through how you would do that. And uh, with Dr. Hamilton, he was like very, very thorough in his explanation. It was very cool. That's great. And then you did the scrubbing in and gowning oh, yes. today? Yes. That was, I never realized how many times you had to scrub your fingers. <laughs> yeah, you got to be thorough, right? Yes, yes. Well, fantastic. Well, thank you for joining us in San Antonio, and I hope, wish you the very best of luck going forward. Thank you so much. Okay. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hi everyone, Dr. Jensen on location in San Antonio. We're doing our immersion program in podiatry for a day and I'm here with Faith from Texas State. Hi Faith. Hi. Welcome to Dean's Chat. Thank you for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. How was your day today, the podiatrist for a day? It's been good. I had so much fun actually. Yeah, it gave me a new insight on podiatry. I didn't really know about it until today. Really, so what was your favorite part of the day? My favorite part was actually learning how to do the suitors on the pig, yes. the pig foot. I didn't know it would be so hard. <laughs> yeah, the, the pig's feet are a little bit thicker than human skin, so suturing's mm -hmm. a little harder, but the, the technique's the same. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. Nice. So, what it, so what was it about podiatry that you learned today that you didn't know before? I thought that with podiatry, you could just go to med school and then you do it, but I didn't know it was its own school itself, which I found very interesting. Like. So I think I'm gonna go and look more into it okay. after today, yeah. Well, very good. You know what's interesting about that is I thought the same thing 30 plus years ago. <laughs> I thought it was just part of medical school, so yeah. some things never change. Well, how did you like scrubbing in today? It was a lot of fun. Was it? I didn't, I didn't know how long it took to scrub in and how like intricate it is. So to do that was fun. Like I felt like a doctor. <laughs> very good. How about the lab where they were using hardware to fix fractures? Yeah, so in the lab, I was actually very like locked in because they were doing 
they were using, I don't know what it is, but it was a metal and they were screwing it into the ankle and they had gotten it perfectly. So he got to show us the x-ray of it and it was so cool. <laughs> That's very good. All right, and then of the speakers, uh, what part of podiatric medicine uh, did you really relate to? The one that interested me the most was, um, I think he's in the Navy. Yes, oh yes, yeah. Dr. Dirk. Mm -hmm. He interested me the most because I'm, I come from a military family, so seeing how he was able to climb the ranks so high with podiatric medicine, it was like, hmm, like that's that's cool. So I noticed your interest was piqued and you asked a couple of questions. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. good. Well, I wish you the very, very best of luck going forward. Thank you. And thanks for coming to San Antonio for of the program. Of course, thank you for having me. You're welcome. Hi everyone, Dr. Jensen on location in San Antonio with Dean's Chat, and I'm here with Caden, who participated in our immersion program today called Podiatrist for the Day. How'd you enjoy it? Um, I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, I'm getting a lot more experience than I imagined, just being able to immerse myself in different environments and really make sure that like medicine is the way I want to go, but also getting experience in other fields too, so it's nice. So what, what did you learn about podiatry today that you didn't know before? Um, well, I learned how broad of a field it is. I didn't realize um, that it had a completely different route to like becoming a doctor. Um, so that was definitely all new to me. I thought it was kind of still like the same medical school route type thing. So it's kind of cool to know that there is different fields that aren't just the traditional medical school route. So that's definitely something, one of the big parts that I learned about it. Very good. What was, your, what was the activity that we did today that you enjoyed the most? Um, let's see, it's been a good day. I think, um, I think scrubbing in woke me up. Um, it was nice to be able to also meet some new people like that I didn't even know went to my school. So it's like, I got to meet, make friends with them and then scrubbing in, we kind of just all like, we're enjoying it together. So it, it was a learning process, but it was also cool. And then we're all a little sleepy, but we all got to wake up and just, Scrubbing, it was cool. So, so we're doing the suture workshop right now and you yeah. came out to join me for the podcast. Yes. How's that going so far? It's going good, I'm just getting started. So when I get back in, I'm gonna be like a top tier surgeon by the time I'm done, I promise. Like <laughs> All right, thanks, thanks for coming down to San Antonio and participating in our, in our no immersion problem. program. No problem, thank okay. you. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi everyone, back on location with Dean's Chat in San Antonio. Today we had the immersion program and Ied is with me. He's from the University of Houston. Hey Welcome to Dean's Chat. Hello. How'd you enjoy the immersion program to this, today? It's pretty great, uh, new experience today. Uh, I'm a brain med, uh, biology major, and I'm in the pathway for surgery. Uh, I'd like today to explore the pod med, uh, not only specifically for podiatry, just in general to see how surgery goes. Uh, I actually first time know that there is a specialty in Podiatry itself, and I was more surprised that it has more branches. Uh, especially, I was surprised there's the medical one for athletes. It's a very interesting one. Uh, I think I thought that podiatry is a minor one. Uh, there isn't much problems, but I was surprised that it plays a very important role with the people helping them with di diabetes, other diseases. Uh, my impression changed. I think podiatry now is very important, and I might change even my path to podiatry. Uh, I got a very good impression about that today. Well, very good. What part of the day did you enjoy the most? Uh, I enjoyed uh, with Dr. Rogers uh, when we went to the operation room. Uh, I felt like uh, how it goes as a surgeon in the future. I enjoyed wearing the stuff for surgery. That was very fun. Uh, doing all the cleaning. I was very surprised that we have to do all that details for to be super, super clean. Uh, that was a lot of fun uh, when we watched the surgeons and the camera doing a real surgery. That was a lot of fun as well. Very surprising and yeah, giving me some thoughts. Uh, how, will, how will that be in the future? Well, that's great. Well, thank you so much for joining us here yeah. in San Antonio for podiatry for a day sure. and good luck to you in your future. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone, back on location with Dean's Chat. We're in San Antonio and we're doing the immersion program and I'm here with Mary Lee of Baylor. You're a Baylor bear. Yeah, it's very exciting. Welcome to our immersion program. How'd you enjoy the day today? So far it's been very exciting and I'm looking forward to the rest of the activities that we have for the day. Um, being a Baylor bear and being immersed in the medical field has been very interesting. As my first year in undergrad studying pre-neuroscience, 
it's definitely something to be interested in. What did you learn about podiatry today that you didn't know before? So podiatry has many subspecialties that I was very unaware about, and coming here today um, has showed me many of the opportunities that are held within this career. And I am studying pre-neuroscience um, and was mainly focused on brain traumatic surgery. So yeah, pod podiatry has many options, and now I'm keeping them open. <laughs> well, what was the most exciting part of the day? What activity did you like today? Suturing has definitely been the most interesting. What's the hardest part of suturing? Probably the skill and technique that it takes to get a perfect stitch. Yeah, it's a lot of muscle memory there. Yeah. How'd you like scrubbing in this morning? Scrubbing in was definitely fun. Um, it teaches you a lot of the, the ways that um, the emergency room and surgeons have to take protocols to make sure that um, everything is sterile, yeah. Very good. Well, thank you so much for making the trip to San Antonio and good luck to you in the future. Thank you. Thank you for having me on the podcast. You're welcome. Hi everyone, Dean's Chat on location in San Antonio. Today was a big day, we did an immersion program called Podiatrist for a Day, and here I am with Cassiana from Baylor. Cassiana, how was your day today? It was amazing, it was not what I expected, because I got to do a lot more behind the scenes things than I thought I would be able to. So like, what kind of things did you do that you didn't think about? I really liked going to the lab and seeing all the different legs and all that kind of stuff, and they were actually using plates that people use here so they get to use the high-grade medical tech and um, experiment and make sure that they get everything right and then like put it under this device to make sure the plates are in correctly. And that, that found was really cool. That was a good experience, some, some hardware and some fresh frozen cadavers, so you had a great experience there. How, did you like scrubbing in this morning? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I mean, I've always watched different shows and I've seen a lot of different um, like educational shows as well that have like the scrubbing and all this kind of stuff, but I didn't realize that you had to do it like 50 times and then that, there was a pick in it and everything was like kind of convenient, so that was really cool. Yep, they do make it easy for you. So right now you're doing a suture workshop. How's that going? It's going really well. Um, I did buy a suture kit before, but I hadn't really used it because it's been very busy, but it was really cool to use like live skin to do it, and the pig skin is really close to human skin. It is pretty close. So what did you learn about podiatry today that you didn't know before? Um, I mean, always, like, I've thought about orthopedics a lot, but I hadn't really thought about how much the foot affects the rest of your body. So, like, your gait and then kind of the, um, the part where they're trying to save as much skin and bone as possible for diabetic patients. Because I'm more, of like, into sports medicine, so it was really cool to see, like, a different perspective with a different set of people. So speaking of sports medicine, Dr. Howard Libeskin, the Laker doctor, uh, was zoomed in. What did you think of his presentation? That was really cool. I definitely want to talk to him later about how he does the shoes and the hot spots and stuff like that because I've always wanted to make my own business uh, with shoes that are better and more natural for your feet. And I thought it was really cool and interesting that a lot of the doctors were wearing like shoes that didn't really fit the natural shape of their feet. So I was wondering why that was different, but... It's really cool to see different businesses and how they can cater to people Absolutely. and their needs. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for making the trip down to San Antonio and being part of the program. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Dean's Chat. We're on location in San Antonio in the Podiatry for a Day immersion program. And I'm with Kaylee here from Texas State. State. <laughs> and what, what is their mascot? The Bobcats. The Bobcats, all right. Bobcats. So, well, then there's the Baylor Bears here, too. Yeah, the Bobcats eat bears, so it's okay. Okay, that it's sounds okay. good. It's okay. Well, how was your day today? It was fun. I really, I honestly, I came in with, like, low hopes because I fell out of love with, like, medicine. But I think this just rekindled everything for me. So I have to rethink my whole life. Really? Yeah. Well, what did you learn about podiatric medicine today that you didn't know before? All of it. Really? Literally all of it. I've never looked into podiatry at all. I've always been like, I, my dream from the beginning was heart surgery. And then I decided I wanted to do research, but now I'm kind of back in the surgery realm. So okay. we'll see what I decide in six months. All right. So which activities did you enjoy the most today? The sutures, for sure. I saw you put about 10 perfect sutures in. How can I say? I'm a natural. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. What did you think about scrubbing in, gowning and gloving? You know, I'm, I didn't really feel any kind of way about it because I was, I'm already familiar with it a little bit because I, I did shadow a surgeon my freshman year of college. So I, I kind of already knew about it, but it's something that like 
will never get old for me. Like, nope. I just love the environment. So. Nope, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then there were tons of speakers today. Which speakers stood out to you? The sports medicine speaker for the Lakers. He flashed his little ring, and I was automatically just like, okay, Dr. I want to be like you. Yeah, and he couldn't make it here because the I, Lakers have a playoff I game know. tonight. In Detroit. Denver. Denver. Yep. Same yep. thing. Same thing. <laughs> yeah, he, he was excited about that, but he wished he had been here. Of course. He said, he said. So did you know that podiatry uh, was so ingrained in taking care of patients with diabetes? I, I kind of knew, but I just didn't realize how prevalent, like, and how extreme the injuries were that came along with it. Obviously, I knew about like the blood loss and everything, or the to the limbs or whatever. But after seeing the pictures, I was like, I was kind of shocked, honestly. Right. Yeah. Well, I wish you luck in your career going forward. Thanks. And thank you for mm -hmm. making the trip down to San Antonio. Thanks for having me. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Hi everyone, we're on location in San Antonio. We did an immersion program today, podiatrist for a day, and I'm with Natasha. She's from Southwestern, and what's the logo? Go oh, Pirates, go Pirates! <laughs> <laughs> so Natasha came down from the Dallas area. Austin. Oh, Austin, oh Austin, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. How far of a drive was that? Um, about four hours. There was a lot of traffic when we came down, but it was a good time. We had some music going, and it was nice. Yeah. Was it worth the trip? Oh, 100%. It was so, I didn't know about podiatry and didn't know that this field existed. And so it was such an immersive experience to like get to go into the OR and learn how to scrub and interact with all of the residents and just learn more about the history and the program um, as a whole. And I wasn't big on surgery coming in, but it was really cool to like see all of the cases that have been worked on in the past and like almost feel like I was there part of it, so. I guess that's why they call it an immersion program. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> so so what, what part of the activities, what activities did you like today? Um, I really liked um, when we went through some of the cases, um, both like in the big classroom, but also in like the other smaller classroom, because seeing the images, I don't know if this happens to people, but like if I, I've observed a bunch of um, surgeries and sometimes I can like feel it on my knee or like my toe. <laughs> and so it was really, it was interesting to like see the surgeries, but like also kind of like empathize with the patient a little bit. Um, but I also really liked the suturing workshop that we had. It was really cool. I always find that if we get people doing things, that it, it just makes it extra fun. Heck yeah. yeah. So you said you didn't know anything about podiatry before mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. I'm so glad you made the trip down. <laughs> yeah, me too. It was it was a really cool experience. And I made some friends, which is always nice. So That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, I wish you the best of luck going forward. <laughs> and if you need help finding a shadowing doctor in the mm -hmm. Austin area, just reach out. We'll help you do that. I will. Thank okay. you so much. You're very welcome. Yeah. Thanks again. Great. Okay. Hi everyone, Dean's Chat on Location. We're in San Antonio for the immersion program, podiatrist for a day, and I'm with Abigail, who's a Baylor Bear. Yes, hello. Welcome to Dean's Chat. Thank you. So when you found out that we were doing this immersion program and you signed up for it, what did you think you were getting into? Um, I had no idea. So this came across while I was at work and I wasn't supposed to be on my phone. Oh. But I was bored. So getting ready for finals, I've been doing a lot of studying, so I kind of just wanted a break. And so I was like, oh, a, a free trip to San Antonio, I get to do some shadowing, no idea what else was included, and I just signed up. So what did you learn about podiatry that you didn't know before today? I'll be honest, I don't like feet. They're gross, they stink, They're, I, I don't like feet. So I was like, I'm not gonna like this. But I actually was really impressed and I'm gonna do a lot more research and I'm gonna do a lot more podiatry shadowing okay. and I might be considering podiatry. Well, that's incredible. So yeah. what else did you enjoy from a hands-on experience today? Uh, we just learned how to suture and that was really fun. Did you like scrub it in this morning? I did, yeah. although the water was really cold and I was already really cold. So okay. that was, <laughs> that just kind of was the cherry on top. Okay, fair enough. And then we had a whole bunch of lectures today from different doctors that ha treat patients in yes. different areas of podiatric medicine. Which one resonated with you? Probably the diabetes. Okay. Because my grandma has diabetes and the whole losing your nerve sensation in the feet, she had a, a, a nail in her foot for three weeks. She didn't know She it. had no idea. Right, well, there you go. That's how some people get interested mm -hmm. in podiatric medicine, right yeah. there. She also lost a toe because oh. she just, you know, 
She just didn't know that she had a sore on it. And well, today may have just changed the trajectory of your career. Exactly. All right, it, well, it very well could have. Well, I thank you for making the trip to San Antonio, and I'm glad you had a good time. Well, thank you for having us. You're welcome. Hi, everyone. We're back on location with Dean's Chat, and I'm with Esmeralda, who came down from the Austin area, Southwestern University. The Pirates, right? Yes, the Pirates. Very Go good. Pirates. Go Pirates. And she joined us today for a day-long experience, or immersion experience, uh, podiatrist for a day. How was it? It was, I did not imagine I would be having so much like hands-on experience. So that was really nice. What did you learn about podiatry today that you didn't know before? Kind of everything. I didn't know there was a subspecialty of it. I've done a lot of like family medicine and this was more like of a more immersive experience. So Okay. Well really speaking nice. of immersive experiences, what of the activities did you like the most? I would say the suturing and the scrubbing for sure. Like I, I didn't know like there was a certain way you needed to like scrub or a certain like you know, like sure. just in general. Well, it was fun because everybody scrubbed and then yeah. we went in the rooms and we gowned and we mm -hmm. gloved and right. everybody was ready to do surgery. Yeah, and it felt more real because we were actually in scrubs too. So it felt more like a, a simulation of what it would be like. Absolutely. So when you went to all the lectures today, we had a series of lectures, mm -hmm. different areas of podiatry, which ones resonated with you? The diabetes one, I didn't know I could see images without being like grossed out because I know some of the... Uh, people here were a little like uncomfortable, but I didn't know I I wouldn't be that uncomfortable seeing you know. Well, that's neat. Images. Very good. Well, I thank you for coming down to San Antonio for the weekend, mm. and I wish you the very best of luck going forward. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi everyone, we're in San Antonio on location with Dean's Chat. I'm with my colleague from the AACPM, Jen Bissett. Jen, thanks for joining on me on Dean's Chat. Yeah, thanks for having me. This is the second time in a week you've been on Dean's Chat. <laughs> it is. I feel special. <laughs> That's great. So today we had a phenomenal event yes. at the University of Texas, San Antonio. Mm -hmm. It's an immersion program called Podiatrist for a Day. And without your organizational <laughs> skills between setting up buses for transportation and sending out emails to these students throughout Texas, I mean... It really turned out to be a phenomenal program. I, I'm so impressed, honestly. Like, it's been incredible. It's been unlike any experience that we've ever done before. I agree with you. You know, Dr. Rogers put together a tremendous uh, lineup of speakers. Mm -hmm. uh, we did scrubbing in the OR. We did gowning in the OR. We did, like, virtual rounds yeah. on patients. Um, and then they actually went to, to a workshop and saw hardware being placed in cadaver limbs. <laughs> no, it's unreal. Honestly, you only get to do things like that if you go to conferences typically. So, and, um, and not students. Yeah, not students. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So I have a question for you. When we started talking about this a few months ago, our, my biggest question was how are we going to reach out to the students? How are we going to find the students? How are we going to sign them up and get them to a place mm -hmm. like San Antonio. Yeah. And you were kind of the, the, the brains behind all that. How'd you do it? <laughs> um, so luckily we have a database, um, people who have taken MCATs, um, their pre-health advisors. Uh, and so we just sent out a couple emails, truly only a couple, um, one to students and one to advisors. And we filled our 35 available spaces in a matter of three days, so. That's unbelievable, isn't it? I think the event sold itself, to be honest. So what's interesting about that is if we plan too early, it's not as efficient. Mm -hmm. And if you wait till the last minute, it doesn't work. But that three to four week time for yep. getting it out to the students yep. really resonated with them. Oh, definitely. definitely. I think it was kind of the sweet spot. Uh, I think the time of year helps too. Um, you know, we caught everybody after spring break, but before finals started. So um, I think it was just that perfect time in the semester. I think so too. Well, I wanted to just thank you for all your hard work, and uh, it really came together today uh, with, through everybody's efforts, yeah. and it was one of the better uh, immersion programs I've been part of in my career. Yeah, I mean, thank you to you and uh, Dr. Rogers as well, because it was your brainchild that we kind of put together today, so it was your initial thought, and we just, I helped execute. Well, we've, we've got a template now, and we can do it. Yeah here in the future or other places yeah. and we know what to do to make it work. Yeah, the foundation's there. We can take it and implement it other places. I look forward to it. All right, yeah, thanks, me too. Jen. Yeah, thank you. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.